Now we can start this video. What's going on guys and today we are going to be talking about the GoPro Karma Grip. I am new to the gimbal world so I'm not going to try claiming that I know everything. So if you are a beginner like me, I hope this is an awesome video for you to help learn some of the things that I've learned um, along the way and see if this is a right investment for you, for your vlogging or just for capturing your moments with your GoPro Hero 5. So with the GoPro Hero 5 and other GoPro accessories, everything you want for a GoPro, including a Karma, is somewhat a la carte. Key thing to know is, is that I bought the Karma Grip, retails in USD for uh, about $300. This thing is not cheap. And I bought the case separate. If you happen to have a GoPro Hero 4, you have to buy the adapter separate. Of course you do. So what does your money buy for $300? It buys the two-piece Karma grip and a cord. That literally is all you get. It also comes with this little adapter right here so that you can put this piece on and strap it to your harness using typical GoPro mounts. Like I've got the GoPro Seeker bag, so you can put this on your GoPro Seeker bag and just be walking without even necessarily be thinking about your gimbal running. So here are your features. It's a relatively simple device. It has the power button right here. It has a locking mode right here. It has the start stop. And then you've got this little button right here for tagging your videos when you think it's a good memory. If you use uh, the quick app for editing your video software, which I don't like, I don't use it. So there's a lot of gimbals on the market and why you would want to choose the GoPro Karma over other ones is integration with your GoPro device. You can start stop and you can change modes which for somebody like me happens to be pretty important. So if you happen to have a GoPro Hero 4 you're going to want to change out this section right here. They make adapters for them you just have to buy it separately. Now there's a couple things to know. First thing is, is that's not necessarily too clear is that you want to use this button to turn it on and turn it off. Once the camera is on, you can switch between the various modes, between video, camera, time lapse, burst, etc. To start whatever mode you happen to be in, like video, you press that. And to stop again, press that. This button right here is for panning. What do I mean by panning is if you want to turn the camera up or down. You want to press and hold this until you get to the proper angle that you want and then you release it. And if you wanted to pan back down you press and hold and then turn it to the angle that you want and then release it again. For lack of a better term if you are panned up and you want to re-justify the camera you basically just want to press this button once and it'll automatically readjust the camera. If for whatever reason you have to recalibrate your GoPro Karma Grip, you're going to want to press and hold this while the unit is off for eight seconds. You want to press that for eight seconds on a nice level flat surface and just hold it in place while it goes through its gyrations. On the back side of the Karma Grip, it has a lock and unlock mechanism so that these two parts can come off. You could technically wear this section without this but you have to have a cord that goes from here to here that of course GoPro sells separately. To get the two pieces off, especially if you want to put uh, this little piece on that comes with it, this is the attachment that allows you to strap it on to uh, other accessories like a, a pole or etc. You want to, bas uh, basically you're going to twist this section just like that and then the two pieces will come up and off. On the bottom side of the gimbal, there's actually uh, the cord plug-in so that you can actually stick it onto this. I probably will never use this feature. Just twist it to lock it back in place. It's a little tight going back in. 
just snap right back in, just like that. So audio with these things is a really big concern for a lot of people. And I gotta tell you, it's not so bad, but if you're trying to use these for the audio, any gimbal on the market, I probably would not suggest getting one because that's really not what they're for. So we're just gonna go ahead and turn this thing on. I'm gonna press the power button, which is this one right here. And you'll see that the battery lights charge up and the gimbal starts activating. So one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do with this thing is, is you are going to want to swipe over. Even if you've had video stabilization turned on on your GoPro, the Karma Grip actually goes and turns it back off by itself, which I find extremely annoying. So you're going to go and find your video stabilization and you're going to turn it back on. Now, if you're used to using videos for like vlogging, you usually think of holding your stick straight up and down. That is not correct for a gimbal. So to use a gimbal properly, what you're wanting to do is, is you never want to hold it quite like this. Also, as you can see, this is our normal way of holding sticks when we're trying to vlog. That's also not correct. Basically, you're going to want to hold your gimbal either horizontally or down or like that. So basically think of it as 30 degrees to 45 degrees to horizontal. So you've got this range of motion available to you at all times. Now remember this panning mode here. Let's talk about that for a second. So if I wanted to pan something, meaning you see how it kind of stays nice and straight no matter how I move this thing, and you want to pan this from like this to up like that so you can point at the sky, you basically press and hold down your button and you're going to twist it up to the direction that you want to go. Once you're at the angle that you want, you can release it. For nice and smooth shots, what I'll also do is I'll press and hold it down to get myself back to where I wanted to start off with. And you'll notice that in your videos it's actually pretty damn smooth. Let's just say it is off kilter completely, okay, and you want to re-justify it. All you got to do is just press that button once and it'll re-levelize itself back in. So let's just press it up. And now... I'm going to press that button one time, and there you go, it's re-justified. So this is my view typically when I'm using this. I'm just pretty good at knowing where my camera is pointing, but as you can see, the gimbal is kind of in the way of your screen a little bit. I mean, I think the key point with all these tools is for you guys to get better oriented as to what the lens of your camera is seeing. You kind of know what your camera is looking at just because you know what angle it's shooting at. So something else to probably consider when you're using one of these is that the Karma is actually charging your GoPro. Some people really do not like that. I mean, I actually carry like three batteries with me at all times. So the fact that this thing is also charging that, I really haven't run down this yet. Remember, this thing is a tool that should be part of your arsenal of other equipment. This is not a replacement for your rig. And just to give you a point of reference, a little adapter for the other GoPro equipment. So this happens to be my GoPro 3-way. And because of the adapter, I now have a really long extended reach. But how much does this thing weigh holding it out like this? It's a little heavy. The Karma Grip is a pretty heavy gimbal, so, I mean, this wouldn't be bad, you know, if you're taking action shots of yourself while you're snowboarding or something else like that, or hiking, walking the trails, pestering your dogs, pestering your family, taking a shot of nature, being obnoxious to people, getting shots of your world in and around you, generally just having fun. And this what it's like to use this thing as a selfie. I'm having to hold it out and um, yeah, you kind of have to understand where the buttons are. There's no real ridges on the buttons at all to kind of tell you which button to press. Uh, if you're trying to pan or something like that, it requires a little bit of mental remembrance as to where the buttons are.
And here's what a panning shot kind of looks like. I'm just kind of spinning around in a circle. And I'll go back the other way. Wanna go outside? All right, let's go. Here's what this shot looks like and sounds like on a pretty windy day. As you can tell, it's uh, very gray out today. Just gonna do a quick pan. So you can get an idea what the sound sounds like hooked up to the Karma outside and in the wind. So I'm gonna do a panning. I'm gonna basically hold the lock button holding the karma grip either at horizontal or 45 degree angle the entire time. I'm gonna press the lock button and I'm gonna start moving my arm up which holds it in place while still holding down the lock button. Once I get to the angle that I want, I release the lock and then I can stay at that angle regardless. And if you want to come back down or have it re-justify, I just tap the lock button one time and that twists it right back into its normal position. Now say I'm wanting to get a shot of clouds and you're wanting to use a karma grip for it and you want to tell your audience about that component or have it as a layer, I'm going to lock it to pan up, I'm going to release it. And now it should just hold nice and steady on that one shot that I'm looking at. Note the GoPro Hero 5 video stabilization is turned back on along with the stabilization that comes with the Karma Grip. Hopefully you see absolutely no shakes. Now what exactly would you use this for? Uh, for me, with my vlogs, I'll probably end up using it as a tool. I will kind of consider the various shots and have it as part of the story, but probably use my regular equipment as well, it's just so that I can overcome the audio issues. I much prefer having um, a different mic, like my Rode Micro, uh, hooked up to my rig, uh, so that I can actually get much, much better sound uh, than probably what this thing is giving you. Uh, I noticed with this thing you can't really change the sound settings while it's hooked up into the Karma, meaning I can't change it from audio, meaning a windy scenario, to the stereo mode, which I thought I could. So hopefully that tells you a little bit about what this Karma grip can do and what it can't. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you have any questions as to how to use the Karma grip, I'm still learning. Uh, again, it's an awesome tool. Uh, not probably how I do any vlogging per se in a point of view you're facing me and I'm talking to the camera at all but it really helps to add to the story so if you have any questions just put them down below and I will try to answer them as best as I can until the next one this is Joseph K and I will see you later